Cantor, a German mathematician, established set theory in 1874. It quickly became one of the most influential mathematical foundations. The famous Russell's paradox was first proposed to cast doubt on set theory by the British mathematician and philosopher Russell in 1902. Given that the shape of this paradox written in symbols could be difficult for us to understand, Russell provided a very graphic example to demonstrate it, namely the well-known Barber's Paradox. The Savile Row Barber hung a sign in his shop that read, I cut the hair of all the men in the village who do not cut their own hair, and I only cut the hair of these men. Then they inquired, Who cuts your hair? It completely baffled the barber. If he's the type to trim his own hair, we can classify him with those who do. However, the sign made it clear that he did not cut the hair of persons like himself. One who does not self-groom is one whose hair is clipped by someone else. It's clear from the sign that he's promising to shave the heads of any and all males who don't do it themselves. Therefore, he really ought to do it himself. Therefore, the barber's words are always contradictory, regardless of the method used to deduce them. Russell's paradox had a profound impact on mathematics at the time it was introduced. Famous German logician Fritz had just finished writing the final draft of his fundamental theory of sets and was getting ready to make copies for publication when he heard about Russell's paradox and was forced to delay his plans. Mr. Russell's letter led me straight to this spot. As a result of Russell's dilemma, the so-called third mathematical crisis occurred. Nevertheless, since then, mathematicians have conducted extensive study to resolve the paradox yielding numerous breakthroughs and conceptual shifts in the field. Paradoxes, it seems, can both cloud one's vision of the future and inspire one to take action in the face of uncertainty.